a lot of brands will just go and develop a product and they'll sell that product. I think what we've done at Herschel Supply is really develop amazing product, sell it in through a great distribution network, and then tell stories on why people want it. So creating that meaning and that added value and that deeper understanding of what this is past just being a product, that's kind of what's made us very successful. As a small brand, some people often think that social media is free. It's the easiest way to go do this. Now, what I can say from experience is that as Herschel Supply grew up in the digital age, being underneath six years old, we had different platforms that were hot and some of them are not so hot. Facebook was a big one for us. We took advantage of that by doing different types of alternative contesting and different things like giving out free bags for the winner of a contest because we understood the algorithm. If people interacted with your content, it would tend to have a better opportunity to go viral. We didn't try to make some viral content. It was really just trying to make sure that we're, once again, adding value. When we looked at Instagram, it was a way for us to kind of show the depth behind our brand and how that brand's being used. You know, we would ask questions like, show us how you travel by hashtagging well-traveled. If you look today, people are definitely showing us because we've got about 965,000 hashtags on that. Our own brand is hashtagged 200,000 times on Instagram. Well-traveled, which we started, is 900 and change. When you think about that and creating something that's bigger than your brand for people to be a part of, that's pretty special. When we look at that, it's 65% of our audience uh, is actually interacting with us online and giving us user-generated content. That's that kind of easy win for us, is creating something of value. I think small brands today could look at social media and understand that there's a cost, and the cost is content. For you to set up a profile, it's free. For you to populate that profile, it takes time and energy. Sometimes that time and energy is gonna cost you money because you may not have a lot of either. And as you start to bring in different people, making sure they're speaking the same language, it's gonna allow you to really tell a great story. My favorite way of telling a story is through video. Unfortunately, video is quite costly in terms of the production value all the way into the music licensing. The second best way is a picture. I think a picture is worth a thousand words. Often when people go and they have photos, they can sit there and talk to you about this one photo for hours. What this photo did, what it represents, what the memories are. For us as a product-based company, really creating uh, opportunities for people to share these different types of photos of how they're using the product, that's pretty cool. I think being in marketing, you're always dreaming. You're always looking at these different ideas. And sometimes having this huge idea and really trying to conquer that, no matter what, it's not a bad idea to have, but you have to be realistic. You know, I daydream all the time. I wanna make sure that I can do the craziest things or the most meaningful things. If I don't have the resource to actually carry that out, then there's no point in pitching it because an idea with no execution didn't happen, no matter what. Sometimes with brands, when they're trying to reinvent themselves, some of the mistakes they do is that they're really trying to go for what's hip right now. And if they keep chasing that of what's hip right now, I don't think that they're getting enough of a foresight of what's about to happen. And if these brands don't know exactly who they are and what their identity is, how, they're, how are they actually really supposed to uh, make that appeal to other people, right? Every brand has to be about something. It's about that, that essence of how you capture that brand and how you communicate that to your customers. If you're actually able to do that, there's a return. If you don't create something of value and you just have a product, then you're competing on price. Everyone is willing and able to pay less for something. You need to convince them that they're willing to pay more for something. And how do you do that? You do it by creating content, telling stories, and adding value.